I am as certain that I cannot shoot laser beams out of my eyes that Jesus did not exist. And if he did, and this is a big if, at very best he was a lying manipulative charlatan. And this would have been the most likely reason the Romans would have executed him. The David Icke of his time, with a less forgiving audience. If you don't know who David Icke is, you're in for a treat. He used to be a professional goalkeeper, he now exclusively produces insane conspiracy theories about everything and anything. Literally anything. The royal family being lizards. But back in his younger days, well this. Let me get the story right. The press claim that you claim to be the son of God. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Yes, you see, the thing is that uh, you see, it's, quite, it's quite funny, really. You know, 2,000 years ago, had a guy called Jesus sat here and said these same things, you would still be laughing. It's really, really funny that we've not really moved on that much. The it's funny David said that because it's completely true, and people most probably would have treated the person in a very similar way. Probably a lot worse, and for good reason. By the end of this video, you'll see why. If there was a guy making these claims, then he was 100% David Icke esque. But even that, which is statistically 1 trillion times more likely than the current actual story, probably didn't happen either. This video will change the way you see religion forever. Not just Christianity, this dismantles basically all modern religions. The only question you'll have is how did I not know this? And why? So first, and probably least significantly, but still quite a significant fact, is there is no record of the guy from anyone during his living years. All written records begin in the decades and centuries after his alleged death. Already extremely suspicious for someone performing miracles, like an absolute legend. There is plenty of written records of other real people from the time, but never mind that. Even though it's a huge red flag, and almost worth a video in itself, it is nothing compared to what's coming. This is the tip of the iceberg, an iceberg made almost entirely of bullshit. First, to give it some context, to explain this, I will use Batman and a time machine. So to calibrate, I take my time machine back to 1943 and approach people with the question, who plays Batman? Obviously, he wouldn't have been a household name back then, so maybe I would have to help them out. He wears a black face mask, covers only the top half, pointy black ears, black cape, fights crime. Someone would eventually say, oh, that's Lewis G. Wilson. This would be correct. Fantastic. I hop back on the time machine. I set it for 30 years in the future. It's now 1973. I approach people and ask, who is Batman? Maybe they need some help again. Pointy black ears, fights crime. Oh yeah, that's Adam West. That would also be correct. I hop back in, set it for another 30 years. It's now 2003. I ask people, who is Batman? People say Bruce Thomas. Who the f*** is Bruce Thomas? But I would find out that was actually a real Batman. I think people would actually say Val Kilmer or George Clooney, or maybe even one from the past. Either way, you get the point. Exponentially more Batmans to choose from as time goes on. But people would tend to reference the most current, it's human nature. Now with that in mind, I hop back from the time machine, but this time I get back 2,000 years to Bethlehem. Right to the time Jesus should have been around 30, in his heyday. He fed 5,000 people with five loaves and two fish. That's 5,000 witnesses. Bethlehem actually means house of bread. Remember this, it will come in handy later. I guarantee nobody there would know him, but if I asked around long enough, I'd find the answer why. So like in the Batman analogy, I give the struggling people I ask some help. So he was born on the 25th of December, born of a virgin called Mary, followed by a star in the east and three kings. He hangs around with 12 disciples, baptized at 30, and he's gonna get crucified if I don't find him quickly. Help me. Chances are, they would say, I think you're mistaken. Your time machine is taking you to the wrong time. I think the person you're describing is Dionysus, born of a virgin on the 25th of December, before miracles, also known as the truth, the light, the king of kings, died for three days and was resurrected. Ah, oh, are you sure? Yeah, mate, 100%. He was born in Greece, I think, around 500 years ago. Hmm, very odd. So I hop back in the time machine, get there at his supposed lifetime and ask about Dionysus. People look confused, much like the Jesus twats from earlier. Again, a wise old man informs me, I must be at the wrong time. I need to go back another 400 years. The person I'm looking for is actually called Krishna and is in India. Born of a virgin, star in the east, performed miracles, resurrected, I hop back in the time machine and start asking questions. Surprise, surprise, an Indian wise man informs me, I've come to the wrong time. I need to go back to Greece another 300 years and look for someone called Attis. Born on the 25th, performed miracles, resurrected, blah, blah, blah. So I hop in the time machine. I get there. A wise old man tells me the person I'm looking for is actually in Persia and called Mithra. Born on the 25th, 
I hop on the time machine. What is a man in Persia tells me? I've come. Before he finishes the sentence, I grab him by the throat and punch him repeatedly. I demand he stops f***ing me about. He doesn't have a clue what I'm talking about, obviously, as he has no idea I time travel and is clearly terrified. But after some apologies and a few more blows, he tells me the man I'm looking for is actually from 1800 years further back and he's from Egypt and named Horus. But get back in the time machine. I set the time back 1800 years back to 3000 BC and start asking about. But this time it's different. The first person I ask points confidently at the sun. Yes, that's Horus. Every night he battles the evil or dog called Set. Each day he wins the battle, bringing warmth and sun for the crops to grow. That's right, the whole story is purely astrological and anthropomorphized or personified. God's sun fighting evil, sunset. If you were in the Northern Hemisphere on the night of December 24th, these three stars in Orion's belt, which make up what I've always called the frying pan, are still known by the same names the ancients used, the three kings. When they line up with the star in the east, Sirius, the brightest star, that's where the sun will rise on the morning of December 25th. The three kings follow the star in the east for the birth of the sun, or sun. Three kings follow the star in the east for the birth of the sun. Remember the house of bread, Bethlehem? The constellation Virgo, bringing better weather and crops for the harvest season. The wheat season, the bread season. Bethlehem, house of bread. Bethlehem is actually a constellation. The constellation Virgo, or virgin in Latin, or virgin birth. She is often seen holding wheat. Now interestingly, the ancient glyph for Virgo is this, and looks like an M. This is why a lot of the virgin mothers have names beginning with M. Mary for Jesus, Myra for Adonis, Maya for Buddha. These are not the only weird M comparisons. Remember the Moses story, put in a basket to flee infanticide, later rescued by a daughter of royalty and raised as a prince. This was stolen from Sargon Stork from 2250 years before Jesus. Again placed in a basket, set adrift in a river to avoid infanticide and rescued and raised by royalty. Moses supposedly got the Ten Commandments up on a mountain, but this old tale is also in all the other old cultured stories. In Crete it was Minos who descended Mount Dicta, to receive the laws. In India, it was Manu who received the laws. And in Egypt, there was Mises, yes, Mises, not Moses, who had stone tablets with the laws written. Mini, Mini, Mises, Mo. These all originate from the Egyptian Book of the Dead. They just changed the wording. I have not stolen became thou shall not steal. I have not killed became thou shall not kill, etc, etc. So back to the birth sequence. The sequence is important because something else interesting happens from the perspective of people in the Northern Hemisphere during the change from winter to summer solstice. So as the days become shorter and shorter and the sun gets lower and lower in the sky, the sun seemingly about to disappear below the horizon for good, foreshadowing cold weather and less sun for crops, symbolizing death or sun versus set. For people on the ground, the sun moves lower and lower right up until December 22nd, where it appears to stay just above the horizon for three days, at least perceivably. And where does it stop? Well, when the night finally reveals itself, it's here on the Southern Cross constellation, or Crux, then rises or is resurrected, signaling good weather and sun for crops, life and good times. And that is why the Son of God died on the cross, was dead for three days, then resurrected. However, they didn't celebrate the resurrection of the sun until the spring equinox, or Easter. This is because it's when the days officially become longer than the nights. The sun wins the battle against Seth. This is why Jesus' head is often seen on the cross, the son of God and his crown of thorns. You'll often see the sun in the background. If you look a little closer, does this ring any bells? This is the shorthand version of the zodiac sign. This is actually an ancient pagan symbol. The most obvious symbolism around Jesus is the 12 disciples and the number 12. This comes up time and time again, but why? They're simply the 12 constellations of the zodiac. Jesus, the sun, traveling around with his 12 disciples. That's right, astrology fans. Let's not forget the zodiac signs don't really mean anything either. They're just patterns of animals randomly picked out. It's essentially just a calendar telling you which way you're facing. Our ancestors were much more aware of this, obviously. Somewhere down the line, the calendar has transformed into multiple cults. A second week of anti-American protests in places like Libya, Egypt, Yemen, Lebanon. Filthy pervert. And of course, he's going in the beast house. Which one? Okay. Which one? 
At least eight people have been arrested during clashes between Jewish ultra-Orthodox protesters and police in Jerusalem. As we now know, the sun is just a flaming ball of hydrogen and helium. It's a star. Each galaxy has hundreds of billions. There are quadrillions of them. I didn't make that up either. That's a one followed by 24 zeros. Possibly more. And I may as well do God while I'm here. I'll keep it quick because I'll probably do a video on it at some point. But again, like in my intro, I'm assured that I cannot fire laser beams out of my eyes, that there is no God. I mean, the answer is literally staring us in the face. Look out at night. What do you see? Stars? Maybe some distant galaxies? Some gas? And nothing. We know we are the aftermath of a huge explosion. What about a huge explosion seems planned? Unless he is, you know, the one. But seriously, a natural explosion. We see them in space already. We know what causes explosions. Nowhere in the causes of explosions, or anything for that matter, has the answer been, or will ever be, magic man. I think people would agree it takes time for complexity to arise. So how could something complex arise before time and space? Where did it come from? Just poof. What was he doing before the Big Bang? Nothing as usual. But let's pretend he did make the explosion. A bit over the top just for us. What's with all the other stuff? Very inefficient. But anyway, he gets things going, starts life here, gets things off to a nice start. But then out of nowhere, BOOM! Tricked ya! I actually set this off at the beginning of the explosion. I thought I'd get busy building and f***ing destroy everything and start again. I planned this. I love everyone and I'm in full control but make viruses and off babies. I also created the different strains of mind virus so you lot could fight each other for my amusement. Also last time I checked you need a brain to think and make decisions. Maybe even need hormones to give a shit. I don't see a brain anywhere in the sky, do you? So did this guy exist? Absolutely not. He is the Ben Affleck of deities. David Icke is the Robert Patterson and Horace would be the Lewis G. Wilson. A very one-dimensional character in the beginning, whose story has been added to down the years. Jesus is the second to last in a long line of fictional characters, whose story has been added to down the years. Just as we know, Batman couldn't have been fighting crime aged 30 in 1943 and in 2023, unless he is a fictional character, played by an actor. Jesus, or whatever name he was going by, could not have been doing these same miracles in different centuries, as you've just seen, unless he was being played by an actor. But even that is unlikely, as this is purely an astrological fairy tale. But societies have always produced nutters. At the beginning, I said the only question you'd have is why you didn't know this. They keep it quiet for obvious reasons. It kind of ruins the whole illusion, as you'd expect. So there you have it. All current modern religions are based upon this pretty simple astrological story to keep track of time. A calendar that got out of hand. Anyway, that's it for this video. Leave us a like or a comment. Get subscribed or get f***. This has been Contraband. Thanks for watching.